Hey everybody, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make the flutter by butterfly shell. And in this tutorial, what I used, the yarn that I used is from Yarn Art from their flowers line. It's a thousand meter skein. I'll leave the link on my pattern, my free crochet pattern for this uh, design on my site so that you can uh, find out all the information about it so you can order some if you want. Uh, this is fingerling yarn and I used a four millimeter hook or size G hook to make this shawl. Uh, but for the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to be using a five millimeter hook or size H hook for the US and worsted weight yarn. Uh, the gauge for this is on the pattern as well as how wide and uh, how tall it is and everything else so most of the information you're going to find uh, details about the shawl is going to be on the pattern page which the link is down below so go ahead and grab your yarn and hook and we'll get started okay to begin row one you want to chain three then using this very first chain that we did here, you're going to double crochet eight into this chain. And I like to go through only the top loop only, and I also like to work over my tail, which you can do however you feel comfortable. It's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, the very first chain three that we did, you can see the one, the chain one, chain two. I feel like I'm a little far away here chain one, chain two, and then this is the chain three where we worked all our stitches into. Well, this chain two will count as your first stitch. So you'll count that as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You should have a total of nine stitches for row one. Okay, so for row two, chain two. Again, this chain two will count as a double crochet, and then turn. In the very first stitch here, You'll put one double crochet. Now chain two does count as a stitch, so that counts as uh, increase, double crochet, chain two, and now you'll repeat that for the row. You'll put two double crochets in each stitch around. Well, I'm at a really weird angle, so maybe I should do this off camera. Okay, so at the end of row two, you want to chain two and turn. For row three, we're going to be putting a front post double crochet worked on this very first double crochet of the row. So yarn over, pick up that post, that first double crochet, and do a double crochet onto it. And that's how you do front post double crochet. Now you're going to skip the next double crochet and then in the next one, you're going to put two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, all worked into this third stitch. So we're going to go two double crochets. I have this hair in here driving me nuts. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, all worked in that same stitch. Okay, now make sure that you see the double crochet that you just worked that into, skip the next one, and on the post of the following one, you will put a front post double crochet. Then you repeat this for your row. After your front post double crochet, you will skip the next one, and then in the following one, but in the stitch, not on the post. When you make your V-stitch uh, shell thingies, peaks, whatever you want to call them, You'll put two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, all worked in that same stitch. And then again, after every peak here, you will also skip the next stitch after those two. 
but you always want to make sure you're skipping the right one. So I always like try to make sure that I find the post that I'm on, skip the next one, and then the following one, you will put a front post double crochet onto that one. I re it's, this row is one of the important rows. It sets you up for the rest of the shell. So really take your time and make sure you're, you're putting it in the right stitch. So you got your front post double crochet again. So you're going to skip the next one and then in the stitch of the next double crochet you will put two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets all worked in that same stitch. And then again this is to find the double crochet that you worked in so that you skip the next one and then in the following one will be a front post double crochet. Then the next one, then the next one, and this will be our two double crochets. I'm running out of yarn. Chain one and then two double crochets. Okay, again, this is the one we worked in, this is the one we skip. This is the one we put our front post double crochet on. And then you're just going to skip this last chain on the end. Okay, so you want to chain one and turn. So for row four, we are going to do like we did before our, back, our front post double crochets, but this row they're going to be back post double crochet. So all the places here where we have our front post, we'll be grabbing them like this to create our back post. But for the very first one here, I, I don't know how to do a back post on the very end one, so I always just do a double crochet on that post and that's it. I don't try to make it front or back, I just put that double crochet worked onto the post itself and then that counts as my first stitch. Then you want to go into this very first space here and you want to put two double crochets worked into that big space. Then in your peaks here, you're going to do exactly the same thing as you do you do the, you did the previous row. In the chain one space here, you're going to put two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. So two double crochets, chain one two double crochets all worked into that peak shell. Okay, now in the space in between, the next big space here, after your two double crochets, in that space you're going to work two double crochets. And then this is where we come to our very first back post double crochet. You're going to yarn over, you're going to come in from this way, push that back, that post back, and then just work a double crochet onto the post to do your back post double crochet. Then again, we're going to repeat what we just did. This is the beginning of the repeat. You're going to be going first into the space before the peak shell and you're going to put two double crochets in there. Then we're going to repeat our peak shell here in the chain one space of our previous peak shell and we're going to do our two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, all worked into our peak shell there. And then again in the space after skip these two double crochets and in this next space you'll put two double crochets. Then again you'll put your you'll do your back post double crochet and then it begins the repeat again. So in the next space here, you're going to be putting two double crochets and then work one of our shell peak stitches in the shell peak stitch. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then again, we'll skip the next two double crochets and in the big space, we'll put two double crochets. And then again, do your back post double crochet. And then you'll work in the next space here, two double crochets. And then in the next peak stitch you'll put your two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. 
And then again in that space in between here, you're going to put two double crochets. And then in the very last space here, and I know it's the chain is here that we skipped before, and the front post. I try to get yarn over, go into here like you normally would, and then just go between the chain and the double crochet and just back post double crochet onto the back post double crochet ignoring the chain there. And that will end row four. Okay for row five you want to chain one and turn. Now on that very first post here you'll put your front post double crochet on there. Work your front post double crochet. Now we're going to skip these first two double crochets that are here and in the space between our shell peaks here and that two double crochets we're going to use this space and you're going to put another shell peak in there. So it's going to be two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then you're going to do the same in the next space as well. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then again, we're going to skip the next two double crochets and then the space here in between, we're going to put another peak stitch there. So do two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets and then we'll find our front post. We're going to skip the next two double crochets and in this front post double crochet we're going to work front post double crochet. So pretty much we just did three peak shells. Did front post double crochet, three peak shells, and front post double crochet. And it pretty much starts from the repeat is these three shells and then the front post double crochet. So we're going to repeat that now. Again, skip the first two double crochets and you're working in the space. You're going to be working in the spaces here and then here. So you're going to be skipping the two double crochets that we did last row and only working with the spaces in between. So it'll be peak stitch, peak stitch, peak stitch, and then front post double crochet. So skipping my first two double crochets and in that space I'm going to put two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. And then in my peak that's already there I'm going to continue with the two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then skip the next two double crochets and in the space again you'll be putting your two double crochets I lost my yarn here. Chain one and then two double crochets worked into that space. And then you will skip the next two double crochets and put your front post double crochet. So go ahead and continue that one more time and I'm going to go ahead and grab my yarn up here. Okay I just did my last little peaks here in my last little section and now again I need to do a front post double crochet so I think I'm going to use the chain this time, make it the front post and it kind of pushes that one back more. No, oh, maybe I shouldn't. I always take the ones on the end. Maybe I'll just do the whole thing. I'm just going to do the chain and the front post and just do my front post double crochet on that. Ah, yeah, looks nice. Looks neater. And see, look, it looks like a butterfly. With the, just needs one more of those and that would be perfect. <laughs> Okay, so we are on row six now. So we are going to chain one and turn. And now we're going to do a back post double crochet. But again, we're just going to do a double crochet worked on the post for the first one. Okay, so for row six, we are going to be using our peak stitches here. And we're going to single crochet in our first double crochet. And then we're going to skip the next double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And we're going to be single crocheting in this very last double crochet. So we're going to be using these last two double crochets of our shells here. 
or our peaks, whatever you want to call them. So you'll single crochet in that very first one, and then you'll chain five. Three, four, five, and then single crochet in that last peak. I mean the last double crochet of that peak. Then you'll repeat that two more times for the row. So again, your single single crochet into the very next double crochet because it's our next the next one is our very first one of the peak. And then you'll chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And then you'll skip that double crochet, chain one space, double crochet, and in this last double crochet of our shell here, you'll put your single crochet. Then again, put a single crochet in the very next double crochet, chain five, and then skip the next double crochet, chain one double crochet, and then our last double crochet here, we're going to put a single crochet at the end. And then you'll put a back post double crochet worked on our back post double crochets. You can see on the back a little bit better on your back post double crochets. So then you want to repeat that for the row. So the next peak is here. So we'll find that first double crochet. We'll put a single crochet in it. Then chain five, three, four, and five. And then find that last double crochet of our peak here. Single crochet. Then single crochet in the very next double crochet. Chain five. Skip our double crochet, chain one double crochet, and in the next double crochet, you'll single crochet. And then repeat. Single crochet in the next, chain five, then single crochet in the next. And when you have those three, then you know that the next one is going to be the back post double crochet. And then you'll just keep continuing that for the row. Single crochet in the next double crochet, chain five, three, four, five. Okay, I'm going to do this off camera and change my positions a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to do my back post double crochet on my very last stitch here. And then that will end row six. So for row seven, you want to chain one and turn. And again, you'll front post double crochet on your front post double crochet. And then we're going to be doing our first leaflet cro crochet stitch. This is what I'm calling it. I'm calling it the pattern LCS. And what they are is you'll be working on these chain fives and you'll put four double crochets, I'm sorry, four single crochets worked onto that chain five space. And then you want to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And then in the same chain five space, you'll put four more double crochets. One, two, three, Four. Then you're going to move over to the very next uh, chain five space and repeat. Put four single crochets on that chain five space and then chain five and then go back into that same chain five space and on, on the other side of this you'll put four single crochets as well. So it'll be single crochet four, chain five, single crochet four. And you'll work that in each one of these chain five spaces. One, two, three, and four. Chain five, three, four, and five. And then back into that space again. Two, three, four. And then on the front post double crochets, you'll work a front post double crochet. And then again, it'll bring you back up to your chain. So that's, you're going to be doing four double crochets, chain five, four double crochets, worked in each one of your chain five spaces here. And then front post double crochet onto your front post double crochet before starting your next. So just repeat this 
till you get to your, your very last front post double crochet on the end and then I will show you how to do row eight here you want to chain three one two three and turn now we're going to be working with triple crochets so the first the chain three here counts as the first triple crochet so you want to put three triple crochets worked in that very first um, stitch or very first uh, I guess it's a a front post double crochet. So in the stitch you'll put three triple crochets. You'll yarn over twice. And that chain three counts as a stitch so this counts as four triple crochets in that first stitch. Um, now we'll be using the chain five spaces here from the previous row to make our LCSs for this row. So when you come up to this, you'll just insert your hook and you'll do your four single crochets onto that chain five and then chain five, which is what we'll be using to make our leaflet crochet stitch next row. And then in that same chain five space, you'll be working in your next five single crochets. And that's how you'll be making your leaflet stitch from row to row using the chain fives from the previous row. So again you'll put four single crochets onto that chain five, then chain five, and then single crocheting four more onto that same chain five space. Then you'll move over to your next. You'll have three spaces here. Four. Then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then single crochet four on this side. Okay. So we have our three double crochets there. Um, and then we will put a on the back post double crochets that run here. And you know, after these three, it'll run here. So you'll do three leaflet crochet stitches. And then it'll bring you back up to your back post double crochet. And in this back post double crochet, the stitch of it, not the not the post, you'll be working four triple crochets into that stitch. One. Two. three and four and then that'll bring us back up to our next three and we'll continue by putting four single crochets on the chain five and then chain five and then four single crochets on the other side of it same space and then again you will do your next two as well like that and then again you will have your back post double crochet that you will work your four triple crochets in that stitch. So do just like we just did here. You want to continue this for the row. I want to show you I did it again off camera. Did the finished my other two and then four triple crochets into my back post double crochet stitch and then there's no need to chain after your four triple crochets just go right into the next leaflet and create the next leaflet stitch and then just continue for the row so I'll see you at the end of row eight Okay, so I'm at the end of my row here and in the very last stitch I guess I'm going to use the, um, the chain here so as much as I can to that uh, the front post or back post double crochet here on the end and you need to work four triple crochets 
into that last stitch on the end so that it all comes you know equal on each side so that is the end of row 8 row 10 by the way is the repeat that you'll be repeating there's only one row repeat for this so it's really cool okay so you want to start off by uh, chaining three which is going to count as your very first triple crochet of the row and then turn so after you chain three and turn and uh, this row we're only going to be working with the spaces in between this first chain three will count as your first triple crochet that we would be working in our space but since it's a chain obviously we can't do that so now it comes up to the middle space here we have three spaces the middle space here we're going to be putting our peak uh, stitch in the middle of and that will be four triple crochets all worked into that same middle space we'll always be putting four triple crochets in the middle space and that'll be our increases for our triple crochet sections here so in the next space between the two triple crochets we're going to put a triple crochet and we'll always be working in the spaces and never the stitches of the triple crochet but the spaces in between our triple crochets and then you will do your leaflet stitch like you always do three four four single crochets chain five and then four single crochets worked on your next chain five space then you'll repeat that two more times for your next two leaflet crochet stitches hmm. getting a ball of yarn up here one two three and four and then we got one more here leaflet crochet stitch four one two three four five and then the four I'm trying to get past these leaflet crochet stitches because I've already shown you many 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 times how to do those already okay which brings us back up to the next section so again you're going to want to triple crochet in all the spaces until you get to your center one and then your center one you always put four triple crochets in and then using the rest of the spaces between the triple crochets you'll you you'll put one single I mean one uh, yeah one single uh, triple crochet in there so I'm going to go through the using that first whoops my bad you never want to put anything in the spaces before your, uh, your leaflet crochet stitches and the triple crochet area. You have the space in between them both. Never want to put anything in there. Always make sure you're using the, you're putting your triple crochets between two triple crochets and never between a triple crochet and a leaflet so we put one triple crochet in our first space which brings us up to our middle space so we're going to put four triple crochets in this space this is the area where you'll mark to later on that way you'll always know which is your middle space because it gets wider and wider and wider I usually just split those four and then I'll put the marker there on that section where they're all going in like this then I'll put a marker in between those just so I know that this is the space there that's the middle you should do that for each one of your five peaks that you have those so then you know the next space here is just a single space so I'm going to put a triple crochet in that space and that'll bring us back up to our leaflet crochet stitches again so you want to continue to do that you can go ahead and start placing your markers this row if you want again 
we only have three spaces so it's going to be a single triple crochet here four triple crochets in the middle and then a single uh, triple crochet there never put anything in the space between the triple crochet and the leaflet just go on and go into your next one and do your three leaflet sh stitches and then your triple crochets continue that till you get to the end of row nine okay I just did doing my last triple crochet in, in between my last space here okay and that ends row eight right no row nine okay for row ten and row ten is the last level now you're always going to be chaining three one two three always chain three and turn and that first chain three will always cover that first space so now we have uh, a total of two four five spaces here the first one's covered by the chain three so then the next one will put a triple crochet in which will bring us to our center one we'll put four triple crochets there and then the next two spaces will have triple crochet triple crochet in every row you'll be adding two more spaces on either side of our four triple crochets so next row you'll have the middle then you'll have three triple crochets after the middle and before the middle and it'll happen like that every row so if you need to place a marker on each middle so that you can just triple crochet triple crochet in, in all the spaces until you reach that marker then you know you need to put four triple crochets there and then you'll work one triple crochet in the next two spaces and remember never put triple crochet or anything in this space between always work a triple crochet be between two triple crochets never between triple crochet and a LCS leaflet crochet stitch and that's it it's going to be that simple it's going to be the simple repeat over and over and over again of row 10 so the first space is always covered by the chain the beginning chain three so then you'll yarn over twice and work a triple crochet in the next which brings us up to our center so we're going to put four triple crochets worked in this center spot and then the next spaces will be triple crochet and triple crochet and then that'll bring us back up to our leaflet crochet stitches where we go right into our chain five and put our four single crochets chain five and then four single crochets and of course you'll do your leaflet sh stitch three times one two three four five two three four three four chain five and single crochet four and then that will bring us back up to our triple crochet area so yarn over twice find the first space between the two triple crochets and put a triple crochet where is that marker by the way so let's just pretend that last row we put our marker here in between our four triple crochets so that we could find it easier I'm doing another shawl so I have so many of my markers elsewhere so you'll put triple crochet in between the spaces of the triple crochets till you reach your marker again that lets you know that this is your middle and then in the middle you will put four triple crochets worked in that one space and then you will triple crochet one in the spaces in between the triple crochets until you reach your first leaflet crochet stitch and then you'll take it from there and this will be the repeat over and over and over again now because this is marked clearly and you're working with triple crochets it's pretty easy to see 
from the next row when you come here that you know that you're getting closer. You don't have to move this up every row. I, I think I had to move it up on every fourth row just to make sure that I could find that middle one without really much thought. So next time you'll have one, two, three spaces to cover before you reach the center where you'll put four triple crochets and then again you'll have triple crochet, triple crochet, three spaces after. And every row it'll get like that. You'll be adding one more space on each side. And then your leaflets will always be the same. And that's it. Easy, easy breezy every row. And place your markers and then it should never be a problem. So that's it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to like and share and comment. It helps me out so much. And be sure to click on that little bell button next to my subscribe button on my main YouTube page to always be notified whenever I release a new tutorial. Also, I have two groups on Facebook, one called Crochet Zone Public and the other one is called Crochet for the Masses. Crochet for the Masses is more of a private group and Crochet Zone Public is a group where a lot of the other designers, not just myself, will post their newest stuff. So it's worth a check out every now and again. Also, I have a, a community group on Pinterest where a lot of designers will share free pattern links. Uh, keep it spam free so you can go there and always find a free pattern. Oh, also I have a link blast now. So you can find the link underneath this video or on the right side of any of my pages on my website and it'll be a big purple thing. Um, that you can sign up for my email blast so that you can always know what I got going that week and the latest news that's that's going to be coming from me and everything. So please take a moment to subscribe to my, my email blast. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching.